you're there. Okay, it's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee, and I'm just going through a sort of copper crafty bits. I have some scrap paper down so that I'm protecting my work surface, and I have some jam jars here. Now, I um, thoroughly recommend that these jam jars are clean, because anything we put on these jam jars, we want to stay there, don't we? And they literally are, this one's an old coffee jar. And um, because it smells so much, even though I've washed it, I've, you know, it's not going to lose the, the smell. So I'm not going to be, really be able to use it for anything else other than coffee, which is a good thing. Handy size, you can keep it in my purse. And um, yes, but I'm going to use it for things like buttons and stuff because they come in so many different colours, don't they? All right, whilst I've been talking, what I've been doing is I've been writing, I've been ripping up a bit of scrap paper here and I am going to roughly write what I'm going to write there and I'm going to double check my spelling. There is nothing worse than, um, <laughs> yeah, than going to all this effort and then... You know, there's something wrong there. I just can't work out why I don't like it. And you find out it's just because it, it's spelt wrong. I know. <laughs> Not necessarily straight away. So what I've done is I've used a ruler. I've measured the height of all my letters and everything else like that. This is perfect. And I've double checked my spelling. <laughs> Trust me. I've seen some things in my time. Yes, beautifully laid out craft fairs and everything else like that. But, just silly, silly, silly stuff. Okay, so, yes, I've now put it in there and um, double check it straight. It's staying in position, there's no problem there. This is just common or garden, sticky back plastic. And um, I'm just going to place a couple of bits of sellotape there. Just to keep it in line, so, you know, yeah, uh, as easy as possible, I want this. And um, a little bit more preparation and it's all sorted. So, yes, a uh, couple of bits of sticky tape just to get it in position. And, yeah, I'm happy. So, all I have to do now is trace around this. Now, I suppose if I'd have put a bit more thought to it, I would have used a different colour marker so we could see it. There we go. So, all I'm doing now is I'm tracing. And if I make a mistake, then what I can do is if I'm quick, I can just smudge it off. Yeah? Alright. So I've made it as easy for myself as possible and of course what I could do on my piece of paper I could then draw a couple of buttons and I could trace around. Alright so nice and simple. If I was doing it on something that wasn't transparent or opaque then I think I'd just have to muddle through with a pencil and um, you can mark on here. Um, it's like I can mark on here and I can just about see it but I know that those marks you can't see and as soon as I even just breathe on it these marks will be gone so yeah but that, that that's that's um that's life isn't it so yes it's going to be for buttons so let's see if I can just three hand a button and um, do you know that looks like a face with a wig on it oh well I can work on this off camera, can't I? Yes, and there's there's no point in me showing you that I'm technically I am capable of drawing a button. <laughs> eh? No, I'm not. I'm not. So that's that's that done. Um, I've got all sorts here, and um, yeah. Now, okay, if we were to make um, jam, which I suppose is why we have jam jars, we save them. Then to sterilise the glasses, what we would do is we would place them in the oven and then we would switch the oven on so it warms up 
to about half the temperature that we cook by. So whatever, you, if you use like gas mark five to cook a jack of potato and then half that. I think gas mark six would probably be a better estimation. So yes, so what we would do is gently warm the oven up to the temperature that we um, normally cook at, half the temperature. And then that's fine, it won't shatter the glass as long as we warm it up slowly. And I've been informed that I can cook these Sharpie marker pens, which are widely available in supermarkets, or you can buy um, Pacific pens that work to colour uh, ceramics or anything, and then you cook them again. Exactly the same principle. So we're going to try it, um, obviously. I don't think I need to do much washing up of the button jar. You know, um, once the button's in there, I might wash it again for spring cleaning. I might not. I don't know. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, spring cleaning once every couple of years I might wash it. But it's not really going to be a high maintenance. Whereas a shot glass with really bad daffodils and a bit of finger paint on there, I probably will put through the washing machine, the dishwasher, every time I wash it. So we'll experiment number two, all right? And um, yeah, tomorrow I get to show you how these have all worked. Okay, I think I'm gonna go over my green because that doesn't show. And that's that for this video. All right, see you tomorrow. Hello there. Okay, well, as far as using a Sharpie mark pens is to decorate, it has actually stayed on the glass quite well. In fact, it stayed on the glass better than it has. I did some ceramic mugs at the same time, and that didn't stay on at all. I could literally rub them off. Um, yeah, and that was so, you know, maybe it is the surface. Um, I was well impressed with the actual paint though, um, it won't come off with cleaning stuff because these have already been through the dishwasher, I can actually pick it off but it pretty much it is there to stay. So yes, a bit of a surprise, um, definitely use it for decorating jars, um, they're not going to go through the dishwasher and yes I will be putting the buttons in there, so that's sort of half and half. Um, yeah, yeah, they kind of work. Alright, thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.